Okay, so now that you have a red light therapy device, you wanna know how long should you sit in front of it? You know, are you trying to get general health benefits or is there a specific benefit that you're trying to achieve? And obviously, you know, based on your device, how long would you need to sit in front of that device in order to get that benefit? In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about red light therapy and how you can calculate dosage for the device and the specific benefit that you are after. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsi here from Mychondria and welcome to our channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, you're gonna find a ton of content all around red light therapy and light and health in general. Um, and if you wanna make sure that you don't miss any of our future videos, then make sure that you hit both the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you get a notification every time we post a new video. For today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can calculate dosage using the specific red light therapy device that you have and you know, try and figure out what kind of dose you should be trying to aim for, for a specific benefit. So before we jump into that, I wanna basically discuss why you would want to do this in the first place. When you look in the scientific literature, there's actually quite a wide range of doses that they will use in different kinds of benefits. You know, something that is more like a deep tissue kind of thing, something like joint uh, pain, That'll often require a higher dosage than something that is something you know superficial, something like uh, more collagen production in your skin. That will have a lower dosage requirement. So you want to basically figure out, you know, if there was a study that used a specific device, obviously it's going to be very different to the device that you're using. Then how do you try and replicate that dosage um, and try and get the same kind of benefit that they got in that study? So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna show you the manual way um, with a bit of a calculation using some specifications from your device and then from a study. And then after that, I'm gonna show you a really simple way that makes it extremely easy. But first of all, let's jump into the manual way so you understand exactly what we're doing over here. Okay, so let's jump into how you would calculate dosage. So you're gonna need two specifications in order to do this calculation. The first one is the dose that they used in the study. And that is just a measurement of how much light energy was delivered. So it's measured in joules per centimeter squared. And you can find this you know, in any kind of study that um, used red light therapy for a specific benefit. If you go through that um, study, if it's a high quality study, you should be able to find this metric somewhere in the methods where they say they use the device and they use the total dose of so many joules per centimeter squared. The second thing you will need is the irradiance. So this is to do with your device. Now, um, irradiance is basically a measurement of light intensity. And what's really important here is not necessarily just the value that they give you, but also the, the distance that they tell you they were away from the device. Many companies won't tell you how far away they were from the device when they took a specific measurement. And this is actually a problem because the further away from the device you get, the lower the light intensity is. So a lot of companies who have underpowered devices, they will just give you a measurement. They'll say like 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared, but they don't tell you how far away they were when they took that measurement. So what you end up finding is that when you're six, eight, or you know, 20 inches um, away from the device, then you're gonna have a much lower light intensity and you're not actually gonna be able to calculate uh, or do this calculation because you're not gonna have an accurate number. So make sure that whatever company you're getting your device from, make sure that you find out from them you know, at what distance was that irradiance measurement taken. Once you've got those two things, you've got the information from the study, so what dose they use there, and then you've got the irradiance of your device, we can jump straight into the calculation. It's really simple, so it's time, um, and the value that you're gonna get at the end is gonna be in minutes equals dose times 16.67, and that is just a standard um, fixed number over irradiance. So to give you an example, there's a really nice um, study on sleep using red light therapy, and they used 30 joules per centimeter squared. And if you had to use this calculation, then you would go 30 uh, times 16.67, and then I've just used an example of an irradiance of 80 milliwatts per centimeter squared. That will give you an answer of 6.25 minutes. Now, this is the manual way, and this is going to be, uh, you know, it seems pretty simple, but the big hurdle that you're gonna run into over here is finding that 30 joules per centimeter squared, because you can spend a lot of time going through the studies. You know, some studies you'll find, you, you know, waste 10 to 15 minutes on a study, and then you find out that they don't actually give you this metric, or they use some weird kind of value that you would have to do some calculation in order to get this number. So I'm gonna quickly show you a much simpler way with two tools that we have here at Mychondria. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick over-the-shoulder view of these two tools that we have here at Mychondria. 
I just want to let you know that uh, these aren't freely available. They are um, exclusive for the Mitochondria members who have our devices um, because they pair really well with our devices in order to dial in the sessions. Now, you won't see other red light therapy companies offering something like this. And a lot of that is to do with the, the fact that they aren't completely transparent with uh, the specifications on their devices. So we're extremely transparent and because of that, we can really show our customers how to dial in their sessions for these specific benefits. So the first thing that um, you would use is the red light dosage resource. As I mentioned, you can waste literally hours going through the studies and then you know, not finding anything that you're um, completely happy with using. So what we've basically done is we've done the work for you and we've gone and summarized a whole bunch of studies based on, you know, or listed per specific benefit. So there's a quick explanation in the beginning, basically how to do the manual way. And then we've got a whole list of benefits over here, as you can see. And as you scroll through, it's really simple. It literally will give you the dose and then it'll give you the protocol that they use. So something like anti-aging, um, there's the full name of the study as well. And you can also access any of the studies um, from here. And you can see they use 5.2 joules per centimeter squared and they did 12 weeks of daily sessions. And as you go through, you can just see there's a whole bunch. I won't uh, fly through it all so that you can um, see all of the values. But um, another example here is bone healing, 9.7 joules per centimeter squared and they did five times weekly for two weeks. Now, once you've got this information, you could go and do that calculation using your device. Um, especially if you have a device from, um, somewhere outside of mitochondria. But if you are someone who's got a device from us, then what's really nice is we've, got, we've created a calculator that saves you a whole bunch of time and literally answers those two questions from the beginning. So the first question is, you know, what benefit are you trying to achieve? And you will select whichever benefit it is that you're trying to achieve over here. So let's say, for instance, sleep. So that is going to pull now the um, dose directly from the previous document that's already inserted over there. Next thing you're going to do is select which device you're using. So let's say, for instance, the MyLite MIDI. That's one of our top selling devices. Uh, it's one of the most versatile and it's extremely high powered. And then you're going to select, you know, what distance away from the device you're going to be when you do that treatment. So for instance, six inches, the MyLite MIDI has an irradiance about 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared at that distance. So as you can see over there, you know, we're going uh, five minutes in order to get that sleep benefit using the MyLite MIDI at a distance of six inches. And then if you had to play around with this, you could go, you know, a bit further away and then it'll, you know, pull a different specification from our website. So now the radiance would be slightly lower and then you can see you would need seven minutes in order to get that uh, benefit. So if you want to get access to these two tools, I've got great news for you. If you look in the description below this video, there is a link that'll take you to a page um, to find the red light bundle from Mitochondria. This isn't something that we actually have on the front end of our website. You won't see it, you know, just openly show to someone there because it does require a bit of explaining, obviously, you know, the things that you've learned in today's video. So if you head to that link, you're going to see that you can pick up uh, a MyLight MIDI as well as these two software tools for an extremely good price. Um, it'll be, it's even a better price than you would pick up a single MyLight MIDI off our website. So if you're ready to take the next step with red light therapy and you want to make sure that you're getting, first of all, a device that is extremely transparent with its specifications and one of the best red light therapy devices on the market. And then you want to make sure that you've got the tools in order to make sure that you can create a custom protocol for the specific benefits that you are trying to achieve then I highly suggest that you check out that link in the description. Um, you're going to see that there's a ton of value that comes with that red light bundle. And it's also got a 30 day money back guarantee because at the end of the day, you know, we're extremely confident in uh, the results that our devices can get. We're not just hiding behind the studies and saying, you know, look what they got um, in the studies using these medical grade devices. We back up our devices with a 30 day money back guarantee and also with a whole bunch of testimonials that you can see on our main website um, of people getting results using our own devices. If you have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. If you haven't already done so, please smash the thumbs up button. That really helps us to know that you enjoy these kind of videos and gives us the motivation to make more content like this. Other than that, guys, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.